Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll look at some of the new data and new trends here. First off, my bullet points, we're seeing the first surge of AR moisture right now in the Sierra. We've seen very high snow levels. Um, in fact, a lot of places are shut down because of wind and potential for flash flooding even at lower elevations. So uh, this is a really uh, severe surge. It's actually rated as a strong surge of AR moisture. The second surge will come 313 to 315. That one looks pretty good probably moderate to maybe low end strong and in intensity. Uh, still looking at high snow levels. I'll run down my forecast snow levels all the way through the 15th coming up here. Um, and the northeast is in for some very heavy snow in interior New York state. Um, some other places it will do decent uh, 313 to 315. So we'll look at all that coming up. But I do want to show you what it looks like. So this is Palisades Tahoe. Now this morning I checked in, base temp was 31 and they were reporting rain. Um, some of the cameras were showing rain even now 24 so the temperature has dropped a little bit but they're still reporting rain I don't know if that's a typo or not but um, so you really you got to go higher than you got to go mid mountain and higher to really get the best accumulations um, looking at this cam at 6200 um, it looks like now this one was rain this morning so now it's come back to it looks like snow so that fits more with the the 24 degree air temp and you can even see it that well this is this is in better shape now now we're seeing some very heavy snow um, this is at 8200 feet so we were definitely dealing with rain at the base areas this morning I did write about a lot of this in my forecast my blog chrystomer.com snow forecast at 319 there's your setup rich pineapple express reaching all the way back to Hawaii grabbing that moisture transporting it in like a fire hose against the Sierra. Now the rain snow line at Tahoe, last night it was at 80 some hundred feet um, into this morning, so no wonder it was raining at most base areas. Today probably drops to 7,400 feet, which is I think what we're seeing as those air temps come down a little bit. Tomorrow it's up to 6,900 feet, 7,100 feet both on the 12th and the 13th. Pretty high on the 14th. That's the second surge, the heart of it. So we're pushing about 8,000 feet on the 14th. Then it will drop down to 6,800 feet on the 15th. Forecast pattern from this morning. You can see it right there. Let me show you what the pattern is this afternoon for that same day. It's changed a little bit. It's a little more west to east. This suggests to me it's a little more uh, aggressive we could be seeing more moisture transported in with this type of jet um, on the 19th. So this may be more substantial. We'll have to wait and see if it really plays out that way. But interesting to see that change. A little more aggressive. Um, back to the blog. Uh, the forecast atmospheric river from this morning, the integrated vapor transport, you can see the next surge coming late 313 or afternoon 313, 314 into early 315 and then it drops very quickly off after that. That's the second surge. I also went into timing. Let me take this into full here. Full Forecast radar satellite. So here's the morning Saturday of 311, heavy snow Colorado. Sierra continues to get it. Wasatch on the 12th. Um, here comes our next surge, 313, 314, look at that, into 314, and also on 315 it continues, and then a whole storm system would then slide into the interior through Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and all of Colorado, especially the western slope in southwest Colorado. That's where the big totals are going to be. There are my totals from this morning. Let me show you what I'm thinking this afternoon. So the rest of today through 312, about another foot to go in the Sierra. Another 6 to 10 for the Wasatch, another couple in the, uh, the Tetons. And in Colorado, some pretty good snow. Western Slope and Southwest Colorado could see 1 to 2 feet. Less Summit County, less Northern Colorado. Here's the second period. 313 through 319, so another couple of feet for the Sierra. Another foot for the Wasatch, another foot for the Tetons. And in Colorado, another... Uh, Another foot for the western and southwest parts of the state. So that's some pretty big snow during that nine day period for western and southwest Colorado. In fact, let me show you what it looks like. This is uh, south southern and southwest Colorado looking at basically two to three feet of snow here through Purgatory, Telluride, Red Mountain down to Wolf Creek. Some pretty heavy stuff. 
um, and then as I take you into the central to northern mountains we're looking at about a foot. So there's a pretty big difference. Um, if you were to go west towards Aspen Snowmass Crest, to be, you'd see bigger numbers than this. Um, you'd be looking at one to two feet, um, but less as you go towards Summit County and then into northern Colorado. In the Wasatch, looking at about one to two feet during this time period. Uh, most of it will be in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. One last stop, the northeast, pretty big totals. Could be looking at three feet through parts of uh, New York State around Hunter Mountain. And then it's about a one-footer for most other places. Again, 313, 314, and 315. That's where we're going to get the bulk of this snow. There may be an additional storm system very late in the period. All right, guys, there you go. That was the afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Have a great weekend and take care.